Welcome back to the AGS tutorial. In the last video, we added a new room, uh, the party hall, and we created an animating background for that room um, that animated the disco ball and the jukebox. In this room, in this video, we're going to um, have Sammy be able to walk back and forth between the two rooms, um, and we're going to dis we're going to discuss a couple of things that you might want to take into consideration when a character goes from one room to another. So. Um, the room that we're going to start with is the main hall. I'm going to open up the room here. Now, the party hall is actually upstairs in the house, so we want Sammy to be able to walk up the stairs and go to the party hall. But notice that when you walk up the stairs, there's two directions you can go. You can either go left or you can go right. Well, in Sammy's Quest, in this house, both, both the left and the right stairs lead to the same place, um, namely the party hall. So it doesn't really matter which direction the player goes. Um, but first of all we're going to have to do something we're going to have to create a walkable area if i select walkable areas from the um, from the from the room if you remember we we stopped the walkable area just before the landing of the stairs because at the time we didn't have anywhere for sammy sammy to go upstairs so we didn't allow him to go upstairs but now we we do so i want to create a new walkable area that leads upstairs now i could just extend this walkable area for him to go upstairs, but I, I don't want to do that. I want to create a new one um, for reasons that we'll go over a little later. So I'll s select a new walkable area. The next one in sequence is two. And I'll just start drawing a new uh, walkable area going up the stairs here. Uh, just take it all on, on up the stairs. And then I want him to be able to walk either left or right. So I'll create a walkable area that, that allows him to go left and right. I'll come down and I want to go just to the top of the stairway here. And then up this set of stairs this way. And then back down the stairs. And over. And I'll fill that in. So now we have a new walkable area here that allows um, Sammy to walk up the stairs. Now, we want to talk about something, you know, how do we get from one, one area of the screen to another? Well, what happens is there's a, there's a sort of an area on the screen that once Sammy goes beyond a certain point going up the stairs, we just want, we just want him to automatically go to the next room. Well, those are called, those imaginary points that, that uh, control that kind of thing are called edges of the room. And when I select edges from, sh from the Show This Room's drop-down uh, box, we see, and I'm going to zoom out just a little bit, we see that there are four yellow lines that get put on the screen at that point. Um, these are the four edges of the screen, left, top, middle, and uh, bottom. When the player walks past these lines, it triggers the appropriate event for the room. Um, if you remember in the, in the room's events, and I'll go over there now, there were four events that were associated with the edges. Walks off bottom edge, walks off left edge, walks off right edge, and walks off top edge. So these four, one of these four events will get triggered depending on which, uh, which one of those edges the player walks across. Well, in this case, we're worried, we're worried about the top edge, but we want to put the top edge in the right, right position. So we go back to our room, and we can drag each one of these edges uh, either up or down or left or right, depending on which one it is. So I want to drag this, this edge to be about right here, meaning that Sammy can walk up the stairs, his feet will be here, and as soon as he starts to walk up either the left or the right staircase, his feet then will cross this line and it will trigger the, um, that event to occur. Now I could obviously put the, um, put the edge down here and that would be fine. That would mean as soon as Sammy gets about halfway up the, the main staircase here, he would automatically, the, that event will get fired. Uh, but I don't want him to do, I don't want to do it that way just because I want him to be able to, I want the player to be able to walk up here if they want to, you know, look on look at the pictures on the wall or what have you I want him to be able to walk up to the top of the stairs and not have to have that event triggered so we'll put it a little bit above the the landing here okay so now we go back to the walks off top edge uh, room event click the ellipsis button and that created a new function for us called room underscore leave top so now what we really want to happen is we want the um, the player to be able to change rooms and go to the next room. Well, we would do that by saying csammy.changeroom, open parentheses, 
And now the first parameter it wants is the integer for the room that we want uh, to change to. Well, the party hall is room number two, so we, we type in a two. And now these second, these last two parameters are optional. Uh, they have the keyword optional in front of the, uh, the parameter names. That means you can specify them or not. Um, if you don't specify them, they have default values that they'll, that they'll take if, uh, if you don't specify them. And these parameters represent the X and Y location that Sammy will be um, put at when he enters the new room. So we want that X and Y location to be about in the middle of the screen, somewhere around the bottom uh, of the screen, because he's coming up from the bottom of the screen when he enters the room. So about 150 for X and 180 for Y should work for us. So again, this will when the Sammy crosses that yellow line, the, the top edge of the screen, um, Sammy will change rooms. He'll go to room number two, which is the party hall, and he'll be put in the party hall. He'll be put at X location 150, Y location 180, which is around the, the bottom middle of the screen. Well, before we try this out, I want to change one more thing, and that's I want to go back to Sammy, to the character Sammy in the uh, project tree, double click on Sammy, and remember last time we changed his starting room because we were in the party hall. We wanted to test out the party hall. We changed his starting room to room number two. Well, I want to change this back to room number one, which is the main hall, because that's where we're that's where we're testing at now. So I change that back to room number one, and now I want to run the game. So I click run. So we're back in the main uh, hall. Now we should be able to walk up the stairs at this point. Uh -huh, and we can. We can walk up to the landing. Now we do have a walk behind area, a slight walk behind problem uh, on top of Sammy's head here. Uh, He's sort of on top, in front of the ceiling, uh, where in reality this ceiling would have ended just before the stairs, or, or right about here where this where this wall is. So, we I'm not going to worry about that right now because we're going to fix that uh, in a later uh, video, actually a different way. And so if we walk over past that yellow line, okay, it did. So we we cross the yellow line, and then now all of a sudden we're in the uh, the party hall. So that's exactly the behavior that we wanted. So we were able to walk from one room to the other. Now we can't walk back at this point because we haven't put the event for uh, the, the party hall's room to go back to the main hall. So let's go ahead and do that now. And I'll try to make this quick. We go into the party hall. We edit room. I'm going to zoom back a little bit. Now we have show this room's edges. The same reason we have the edges. Now I'm going to this was this edge by default is sort of right at the the bottom edge of the screen. I'm going to drag that up a little bit because I don't want the player to have to go all the way to the bottom of the screen to to trigger the event. I want to actually give them some leeway here that they can just kind of walk most of the way to the bottom of the screen and and leave the room that way. So dragging that up a little bit, there's the bottom edge of the screen. I'm going to go over to the events of the room. Walks off bottom edge, that's the event that we want to to fire here. Click on the ellipsis button. That creates our first function within the party hall. Each uh, room has its own script file, so we only have one uh, function within the party hall room, and that's room leave bottom. Now we want to say c sammy dot change room. Now the room that we want to go to is back to the main hall, so we type one, and let's just have him go right in the middle of the screen, which is 160 comma 160. That's where he'll appear. And now let's run it and see how that works. Okay, so I'm in the party hall. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm in, I'm in the main hall. We go upstairs. Now I'm in the, the party hall, which that works again. Now let's go back downstairs. Okay, so I went back downstairs, and he ended up back in the party, back in the main hall again. So that's exactly what we want. Now there's a couple of things that we need to consider, and that is when. Um, when Sammy came back from the from the party hall, he just sort of appeared here in the middle of the screen. There was there was no. It's almost confusing at that point because he just sort of appears here in the middle. It would be kind of nice when going from one screen to another if we sort of see Sammy. For example, if he was coming up from the from the party down from the party hall, if we sort of saw him start walking down the stairs and sort of end up around in this spot. That would be nice. Um, you know, that's just something to consider. We'll get, uh, we'll do that in the next video. Um, and the same for the same reason, whenever we, he walks from the, um, whenever he walks up to the party hall, you know, he crosses the yellow line and then immediately 
he jumps into the party hall and he's and he's um he's already in the party hall. So it would be nice. Let me go back down there. It would be nice if when he was going upstairs, if he sort of finished walking the way upstairs, you know, and then into the party hall uh, that way. So we're gonna fix those couple of things in the next video, and then we're gonna get into one more uh, thing in this room, um, such that um, we'll fix this um, this walk behind area. Um, issue that I was talking about, but we're not going to use walk behinds. We're going to do it a little bit differently um, to introduce a new uh, feature within AGS. So we'll do all that in the next video. So join me then, guys. Thanks.